One, two, three. Come on. Bit of Ronaldo about me soon. <laughs> I didn't realize how long it was getting until I was brushing it. I just looked at the gold on me. Yeah, it just made me fall in love with the sport. For Leota! It's a one-two from the new crew. So I got into rugby when I was six, mainly playing for Northgate. Uh, down in the northern suburbs in Melbourne. Um, Dad was involved with the club and a lot of my family. And uh, that I went church with as well, so most of us would only see each other on Sundays and so not a lot of time during the week, so those times playing rugby was just mainly connecting with them and just, you know, just really enjoying and having fun. Yeah, I dropped out um, probably after playing under sixes. Mum thought it was a bit dangerous for me, so the president of the club that I was playing for, Northgate, he was my coordinator, year seven coordinator at school. So he sort of asked me if I could go back and ask my parents if I could come back. And then yeah, restarted the, <laughs> the journey again when I was about 13. Obviously reconnect with a lot of the boys I didn't keep in contact with for that long. So um, that was the main thing for me, just being able to build those connections again with all my mates and yeah, really enjoyed it. This is what they need, a bit of go forward from Rob Liotta with a bit of a head of steam. I didn't have a lot of Samoan mates or a lot of Pacific Islanders at my school, so a lot of my good mates were like obviously Greek, Italian, even the Aussies as well, so that's how I was in AFL and, and soccer, so um, I was playing that mainly through high school, and the only times I could really play rugby was just on the Saturday. Probably at the age of 16, I think a lot of people realised the potential I had, and I'd, I hadn't unlocked any of it yet, so I give a lot of credit to the support network that I had within my family, coaches, because they really unlocked something that I didn't know I had. After that, it was pretty much just going full tilt to the reps through Victoria and then obviously National and then the other the Rebels. So real thankful that I had those guys that obviously unlocked something in me that I didn't know I had and, and yeah, just made me fall in love with the sport. The Northern Panthers Rugby Union Club down there in Melbourne, Gilg, who just are so proud of what Robbie's about to achieve. I think Darcy Swain, he was warming up and he wasn't 100% for the game, so got called to walk to the halfway line when I um, had a feeling what it was, but still unexpected. And then just told me, Darcy's no good and you're gonna debut. Instantly just sort of felt like my heart dropped. I think I was forgetting most of the plays during the, just cause I kept thinking in my head, like I'm about to take the field. The biggest thing that sucked was probably, cause it was COVID at that time, there were no flights coming out of Melbourne. So I couldn't have anyone there, but I could definitely feel their presence with me when I was, Obviously in the game, I think it got to about 65 minutes and it was a tight game. And I was just thinking to myself, I'm not going to get on. Trying not to get my emotions involved because I was like, you know, if the team wins, that's the main thing. And then I think it hit 70 minutes, told me to get up and warm up. And I was like, holy, what the hell is going on? It was so bright, the lights. Honestly, like everything sort of just zoned out. I couldn't see anything. Sort of just running on and sort of looked down. I just looked at the gold on me. I was just like, holy hell, like, how did I get here? And then as soon as like sort of the whistle blew, everything just became real and then it was down to business. So yeah, no, it was good. Rob Leota, one of the very few to be born and bred in Melbourne, in Victoria, and make his way to test level. Probably for that last test we played at Marvel, I think our back row, we're all born in, we're all from Melbourne. So me, Pete and Rob, even our bench player, uh, born in from Australia as well. And obviously guys that played for the Rebels as well, uh, Callaway, Matt Phillip, uh, Reese Hodge. I've never been able to get up for a game like that. I think probably one of the better games I've ever played. I think it was just purely off adrenaline and knowing that we were in Melbourne, just gave me a different type of energy. And I think me, Rob and Pete, being able to start as a back row, all born in Melbourne. Yeah, we were just all feeding off each other and um, yeah, probably one of the best games I've ever played in my life. So. Being able to do that at the G will be unreal. He is a man that wants to work hard. He puts himself in harm's way repeatedly for his teammates. When I unlocked that work ethic, probably after 16, probably carried me right through. But then going through injuries, got a bit down throughout then. And then sort of working on my mental, mental strength, mental health, um, remembering what it was like when I was first trying to grind to make it when you're so young, you're just hungry. Sort of just bringing that mindset back when I was young. And then instilling that back in me when I was probably like 22 after those three injuries sort of helped me through those injuries. So I'm more resilient now, disciplined, and a lot of respect for the grind. I think being able to stay locked in every day when you're injured, to come in, put in the work, 
And some, a lot of days you don't feel like you want to do it, but being resilient through a lot of those injuries has helped me now, and I think it's just going to make it even sweeter when I'm actually back out there. Rob Leota got involved twice there, but what about the size of the man? What about the skills as well? Training here, I saw it in the off-season, we'd play um, a bit of soccer for warm-up down at MSAC. So, um, yeah, got to get my skills back out. I think a lot of these boys didn't know a bit of Ronaldo about me, so, you know, a bit of... Sue! <laughs> Pete Sum was pretty good. Um, he's a big Ronaldo fan as well. I can name someone who's not that good at soccer. Probably Rob Valentini. No school about it. Uh, can't kick a ball. I think he's a lefty, but sort of kicks. His left is like his right. It's no good, so... And now it's Valentini towing ahead. Here comes Bobby V. No, I think that was a fluke. I think I was watching that. I said, oh, probably a lucky touch he had, but no, nah, I'm kidding. No, nah, his left foot's pretty good in rugby, but in soccer, he's no good with the round ball, so. So much of this man we love, notwithstanding the fact that he's happy to have half a haircut. Started growing my mullet from then, from COVID, and then it was definitely, it was very short. You know, didn't look too good through the growing phase, but I didn't realise how long it was getting until I was brushing it. I think it was like almost down to the middle of my back. Yeah, a few of us grow up, me, Pone, Pete Samuel had it for a bit, sort of just kept it right through, so Pone's, Pone's probably got the longest one at the moment right now. No, no rat tail for me, I think. I, don't, I reckon if I took it home, my mum would chop it off while I was sleeping, so. <laughs> she wants to chop my mullet off as well, so that's why I trimmed it now, so. It's not as long now. At the start, I think Dad was like, I don't think he should cut it, I think. If he made it with the wallabies with the mullet, I think he should keep it, so. <laughs> I'll probably keep it for a bit, but. I think I'm due for a change maybe next year. It ranks with the Wallabies' most courageous performances. I think growing up watching it with my dad and my brothers and family, every World Cup we just, I was just more into it, more into it every time it came around. And I didn't really uh, sort of understand until I actually made Wallabies how full on it is and sort of the training, the schedule, um, even this year it's just so much hype around it. Like you can just tell it's not a normal year. My dad probably thought about it more about maybe seeing me on the World Cup stage almost feel like a debut, I reckon. Just all those mixed feelings, not knowing how to feel. A lot of guys from Melbourne also that I grew up with in the squad, like Rob, uh, Pete. So if I'm there with those guys, Bonner, like, it's just going to make it even better to have guys that came up with a pathway with. So yeah, I think it'd be awesome.